Mazda 3 is a fun car, but speed junkies have always found it wanting. This version, the Mazda Speed 3, should have them lining up around the block. Those looking for the thrill of a high-performance car but just don't want to spend the money might want to pay attention. Here's why. That sound is shorthand for really powerful. The Speed 3 lives up to its name. Stuffed under the raised hood is the same turbo engine that powers the much larger CX-7 crossover. With 263 horsepower here, 60 miles an hour whips up in under six seconds. Speed 3 is propelled by its front tires. Because of that, torque steer, which is a tugging of the wheel under hard initial acceleration, is inevitable. Engineers have taken noble mechanical and electronic steps to tame it, but it's not eliminated. A proper suspension and the right tires make twisty roads worth seeking out. The steering and reinforced chassis have a nice hefty European quality to them. The six-speed transmission feel is good. Ride quality, very firm. The road noise is on the higher side. Here are the large anti-lock brakes. This is how they work. Very nice. The Mazda Speed 3 gets new faces and bodywork that are appropriate for this kind of rapid transit system. The new fenders are much more subtle. Those looking to fly under the radar of law enforcement, pun intended, will want to stay away from one of these dressed up in red paint. The instrument panel looks pretty much the same as the normal 3, but this cabin is upgraded with the sort of stuff that keeps spirited drivers happy. My music choice on the great Bose sound system is a subliminal reminder to behave. The light show on the gauge cluster and sound system that's found in all Mazda 3s is a nice touch. Other good stuff? Stability control can be switched off, headlight level can be adjusted. Cans of Coke will get in the way of shifting action, but the console has two levels of storage and thankfully an aux jack for MP3 players. I'll gripe about the key release, you have to push a button to get it out. In back, there are belts for three, but really space for two with limited leg room. Those pressing the Speed 3 into everyday family duty might think twice. Oh, and no middle headrest either. You can buy the Mazda 3 in two body styles, but the Speed 3 only as the more versatile five door. Using the method I'm sure Mazda engineers approve of, it scores a six in the toilet paper test, a bit higher than average in class. Starting at a bargain price of around 23 grand, Mazda Speed 3 buyers will also want a budget for the inevitable speeding tickets. I've established the Speed 3 is a fireball and that certainly appeals to a lot of folks watching this podcast. I'll close with this though, please, Please drive responsibly. This car and cars like it are a lot of fun. We'd hate it if it ended in tragedy, though. We here at Drive want you coming back for more. Okay, now, these podcasts are expanded from mainstream TV reviews I do for the Seattle area and NBC News Channel. I've added some stuff for the hardcore enthusiast, but if you want the real gory mechanical details, go to the website, www.nwcn.com slash autos. There's an email link there too. I just wrote back to Dave in Australia. Hope you're enjoying the drive. I'm Tom Volk.